Did you know that 85% of what we worry about never actually happened? It's simple as that. Let's explore easy ways how to worry less and enjoy life so we can start. So in today's video, we are going to dive to four topics and to four tips on how you can worry less. We're going to start with identifying your triggers and talking more about triggers in general. Then we will continue with topic of mindfulness and how you can apply that to your daily life. Afterwards, we are going to move on challenging negative thoughts in real time and real life and how to work with thoughts that are more negative. And lastly, we are going to talk about nurturing support system and how it's important to get support. So I hope you're going to enjoy this video and let's start with the first tip. So the first tip I would like to talk about is identifying your worry triggers. It's really important because if you're going to identify uh, what's worrying you, you're going to be able to work with it better. So it's important to know where the worry is coming from. I'm always saying that knowing what worries you helps you to deal with it better. When it comes to uh, identifying your worry triggers, I think the most easiest way how you can figure it out your worries is to keep maybe journal for one week where you are going to write down everything. This is going to help you to identify what you are worrying about the most and in what kind of situations. I'm suggesting that you should write down what's worrying you and write down also what's happening around that. So basically you're going to figure it out your worry but you are going to also describe in what uh, stances it's happening and with what you are surrounded with. And I think the most important is to reflect on your notes that you are taking. I would suggest to, you know, take a few minutes each evening and you can just read your notes and you can just see if there are any patterns when it comes to your worries. So basically you're gonna figure it out if it's, you know, something that is happening in some certain situations and you're going to know exactly when this specific worry is happening and maybe why. So this is the tip one and let's move to tip two. And tip two is that you should include mindfulness into your daily routine. Because being mindfulness meaning paying attention to the present moment. It basically helps you to stop worrying about past, about future, and you are literally focused on what's happening now. And this is the most important, how you can deal with your worries and how you can implement mindfulness to your everyday life. I would recommend that you should start your day, you know, in some quiet place and just focus maybe on your breathing and on the situation that you are in. Because, you know, like your unconscious mind is the most active in the morning and it's important to give to your mind some peace so this mind is going to you know connect with the purpose that you want to feel the whole day so it's really important to spend at least few minutes by relaxing and by breathing and by keeping yourself you know in the peace and mindful i know that for some people it can be just really difficult you know just to sit and breathe because maybe you are not that good in you know sitting and you still need to do something but there are a lot of ways how you can practice mindfulness for example if you always feel that you need to move i would recommend you could maybe start your day by going for a walk just don't be on your phone don't listen to podcasts but just focus on the walking focus on the surroundings around you this is going to keep you in the present moment if you want to stay at home just go eat but don't watch anything don't overthink what you're going to do today just focus on your food focus on what you have on your plate and focus on the taste of the food and how it's you know making you feel this is going to also help you to be focused on the present moment and going to keep you mindful and now we are at tip three <laughs> i'm excited to share this one because this is something that is literally working for me but let's move to that it's challenging negative thoughts in a real time and i think now you are going to agree with me because 
once you have negative thoughts, it's making you to worry more and your worries are, you know, doubled and it's even worse for you to cope with that. So challenging negative uh, thoughts, it's a really good instrument how, you know, you can make this worry disappear and, you know, eliminate your negative thoughts. I'm going to introduce you to a very simple method. You know, the negative thought is, you know, entering your mind, try to challenge it, try to, you know, really reflect like is it real or is it based on my feelings on my insecurity ask yourself is it really true or my mind is just playing with me and no matter what answer is challenge this thought replace the negative thought with something positive but i'm going to give you example how to exactly do that so example for example you are having thought that you are not good enough I'm going to take the example on me and I'm going to basically show you how you can do that. So for example, now to my mind, it's like coming a really negative thought and I'm thinking about I'm not enough. I'm not enough. This is going to make me worry even more because I'm not good enough. This thought is negative and my worry level is going to be really high and it's going to destroy my mood. In that case, I don't want this to happen, right? So I'm going to reflect on this thought and I'm going to ask myself like, Michaela, is it based on real facts or on feelings? And after that, I would definitely ask myself, Michaela, what have you accomplished recently? And I'm going to focus on something more positive and I'm going to focus on what I have accomplished. So this negative thought and this worry is going to disappear from my mind. This is a really nice instrument or a tactic, you know, that you can use when you're thinking negatively. But And now we are moving to the last fourth tip of this video. I'm really excited to share this. The fourth tip is nurture your support system. And this tip is more connected, you know, with people and with the support you get from your friends, family, or just, you know, people around you. Because, you know, I believe when you have people that care about you and when you are spending time with them, it makes you feel better and it makes you feel less worried. Based on that, I would like to encourage you to take time each week to be with your family and friends. And if you are busy just have a quick call with them because this is still you know some kind of contact and i believe you're going to feel way better you always need to talk to someone when you feel worried and maybe you know those people are going to help you and they are going to be your safe spot how to eliminate your worries because support from loved ones are really important and if you are in a difficult situation if you don't have friends or if you are in a really bad family situation have on your mind that it's still okay to seek for more professional help like maybe counselor or therapist they're gonna help and they're gonna listen to you so this is also a nice way how you can nurture your support system and i believe this is everything from this video now you know how to worry less so implement all of those steps to your life because it's really important have on your mind that you need to identify what makes you worry you need to stay present with mindfulness you need to challenge your negative thoughts and you need to lean on your support system it's simple as that and have on your mind that small changes can make a really big difference on how you feel and how much you are worrying remember you are in control of your worries so start today and take those steps toward happier and worrisome life i would like if you would subscribe to my channel if you like this video and see you next thursday bye